So now that we have learned all the basic properties and important theorems related to triangles, let us discuss a few examples. And we shall start with one of the earlier SSE exam questions. Let's look at the question first. It says consider a triangle ABD such that angle ADB is equal to 20 degrees which means angle D right whenever we say angle ADB we look at the vertex which is at the center here that is D so angle D here is 20 degrees and C is a point on BD such that AB equals to AC and CD equals to CA what is the measure of the angle ABC so again angle ABC here implies angle B right we always need to consider the vertex which is at the center of the three vertices here so angle B is to be calculated and the given answer options here are 45 degrees 60 degrees 30 degrees and 40 degrees so let's try and consider a triangle based on the given uh, properties here and see what is the measure of angle B now it says there is a triangle ABD such that angle D is 20 degrees. So let's consider some triangle, right? Let's say this is the triangle here, right? Uh, a, D, B, all right? Where angle D is 20 degrees. So this angle here is 20 degrees, all right? A, D, B is a triangle. Now, C is a point on BD, right? This is the uh, line BD, the side BD. C is a point on the uh, side BD such that AB equals to AC. So let's take some point here, right? Uh, some point here C and connect AC right it says AB equals to AC which means the side AB is equal to the side AC so these two sides are equal and also CD equals to CA right what is CD this part is CD right so CD equals to CA CA is nothing but AC so we see that AB AC and CD all these three are equal and angle D is 20 degrees now from this data we need to find what is angle B here right angle B is equal to what which is this angle now going by the properties of similarity of triangles uh, I think we'll be able to solve this problem easily now if you observe we know that in this particular triangle ADC right or ACD in the triangle ACD we see that AC equals to CD now if these two sides are equal their opposites angle will also be equal right if the two sides are equal their opposite angles will be equal now for the side AC the opposite angle is D which is 20 degrees for the side CD the opposite angle is A we know that the opposite angles have to be equal so if this is 20 this angle will also be 20 degrees get to the point side AC the opposite angle is 20 degrees for side CD the opposite angle should also be 20 degrees because these two sides are equal now in this triangle ACD we know that the two of the angles are 20 degrees each and always in a triangle sum of all the interior angles is 180 degrees so going by that if this is 20 plus 20 40 the remaining angle has to be 180 minus 40 right so angle C will be equal to 180 degrees minus 40 which is 140 degrees right so this angle here is 140 degrees now again if you look at the triangle ABC right in the triangle ABC if you observe the vertex C this is a straight angle right here it makes a straight angle straight angle is 180 degrees right this is a straight line so if this part of the angle is 140 it is obvious that the remaining part has to be 40 degrees because 140 degrees plus 40 degrees make a straight angle 180 degrees so angle C in the triangle ACB or angle ACB right angle ACB is equal to 40 degrees right we cannot say angle C because angle C is with respect to both the triangles here so angle ACB now when we say angle ACB it is this part of the angle which is 40 degrees as we have calculated again going by similarity we know that AC and AB are equal if these two sides are equal their opposite angles have to be equal opposite angle of side AB is this which is 40 degrees opposite angle to side AC will be this which is angle B so if this is 40 this angle also has to be 40 degrees so we can conclude that angle ABC will be 40 degrees angle ABC is equal to 40 degrees so the answer for this question right angle ABC is required angle ABC will be option D 40 degrees so this is how we can just uh, consider the triangle uh, based on the given points in the question and try to apply the various theorems and properties that we have learned uh, related to triangles and arrive at the required answer also while solving this question in the exam you can make sure that you cut down the number of steps that have put on the board here right only the diagram that we have considered here or the triangle that we have considered here should be sufficient enough for us to arrive at the answer we need not write angle C is 180 degrees minus 40 degrees right in fact this angle C here is angle uh, ACD right not to get confused because 
C here has got you know in both the triangles so angle C we meant angle A C D right so angle A C D is 140 degrees we need not write all these steps and uh, end up wasting a lot of time just try to draw the diagram do the calculations mentally and find out what the required answer is